Apple has made big strides in the charging department with the launch of the iPhone 16 series. While the tech giant is promoting various features, one of the most significant upgrades is in the charging speed. Apple has equipped the iPhone 16 with faster wireless and wired charging capabilities, making it a direct competitor to Samsung's flagship phones like the Galaxy S24 and Z Fold 6. In this video, we'll dive into the details of how the iPhone 16's charging speed stacks up against Samsung's flagship models and what this means for both tech giants moving forward. Earlier this week, Apple officially launched the iPhone 16 series. One of the standout features is the support for 25-watt wireless charging over MagSafe. This is a 10-watt improvement over the iPhone 15 models, which had a maximum of 15-watt wireless charging. But that's not the biggest news. Apple has also quietly introduced 45-watt wired charging, a massive 16-watt jump compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which supported only 29-watt. This upgrade puts Apple in direct competition with Samsung, as the 45-watt charging speed matches what the Galaxy S24 Ultra offers. In comparison, Samsung's other flagships, including the Galaxy S24, S24+, Plus, Z Fold 6, and Z Flip 6, lag behind with only 25-watt charging support. This gap of 20 watt between Apple's and Samsung's flagship phones shows that Apple has not only caught up, but in some cases, surpassed its rival in charging speed. Apple's sudden improvement in charging capabilities has highlighted an issue with Samsung's recent flagship phones. For years, Samsung has been leading the pack when it comes to smartphone innovation, but it seems they've fallen behind in terms of charging speeds. The fact that Apple has caught up with Samsung in this area suggests that the South Korean tech giant hasn't made enough progress in improving its charging technology. Even though Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra offers 45 watt charging, it is worth noting that the company has stuck with the same specification for a while and their other flagship devices are still limited to 25 watt. The gap between Samsung's mid-range and top-tier devices and the fact that even its highest-end models haven't gone beyond 45 watt makes it clear that Samsung needs to step up its game. The iPhone 16 series has already been certified by China's Quality Certification Center, confirming its support for 45 watt charging with a power specification of 15 volts, 3 amperes. This is a big deal because it confirms that Apple is committed to providing faster charging solutions for its users, even if it took them a while to reach this point. Samsung, on the other hand, is set to release its next flagship, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, According to reports, the S25 Ultra will also feature a 45 watt charging specification of 15 volts, 3 amperes, which is different from the current Galaxy S24 Ultra's 11 volts, 4.05 amperes specification. However, it remains to be seen if this change will result in faster charging times or if it will simply maintain the same 45 watt speed. Usually, Apple is known for taking its time when it comes to adapting new technologies or improving specifications. But with the iPhone 16 series, Apple has shown that even after years of moving slowly, they can catch up and even surpass the competition. Samsung, however, seems to be moving at a much slower pace when it comes to improving the charging speed of their smartphones. Apple's iPhone 16 series has closed the gap between them and Samsung in terms of charging speed. With 45 watt wired charging and 25 watt wireless charging, the iPhone 16 series is now on par with or even faster than Samsung's latest flagships. What do you think? Will Samsung respond with faster charging in their next lineup, or will Apple continue to lead? Let me know in the comments section. See you in the next video.